Hello, this video will help you understand a few things about working with your master course, which contains the NNU Online 8-week course template. As you look at the modules in the template, you'll notice that things are numbered. At least, not for the course resources, but for the actual modules. Why do we do that? Well, numbering items simply helps you keep things organized, helps your students know exactly where things are, maybe keep tabs of their own checklist. Um, it's also very useful if students have a question. Perhaps they might say, um, I'm not sure I'm understanding what we should do in the 1.11 reflection. You can go right to it and you know exactly uh, which item you're seeing to answer their question. Another reason is when you go to the pages area, it typically lists items in alphabetical order. And so by having pages numbered, you can easily spot the pages that you're looking for. Numbering the items is also very helpful for organizing your gradebook and making sure that you've accounted for everything there. Let's talk a little bit about the settings. You may have an image in your course tile that appears on the dashboard. So for instance, I have an image in my template and I have posted images for some courses or faculty have found an image to match theirs. I think it's a good idea to include an image on your course tile just to give students something visual to catch their attention and find their course um, easily. So if you would like assistance with finding a course image that uh, meets copyright uh, guidelines, I can help you with that. Okay, back in the settings area. The navigation for an online course uh, is a little bit different from face-to-face -face courses. We prefer to see a few certain navigational links in a particular order. These are Home, Announcements, Syllabus, Modules, Study Tools 24-7, and I'll talk about that again in a minute, Grades, and Course Evaluations. The Study Tools 24-7 link uh, does not come into Master Courses, but it does get put into Teaching Sites, and uh, let me go out there for a moment. The study tools area is 24-7 uh, resources for students to use. Um, maybe they're in a math class and they, they need some flashcards to beef up their skills. Um, there's, there's quite a few resources in here. It looks a little bit different for an online course because there is also the 24-hour uh, resource of actual live human tutors hired by BrainFuse who can help students in synchronous time. Back to the settings. Any items that you want to use in your course that you want to bring up, go ahead and do that. I think it's usually good to put items that pertain to the actual course content directly where students need them, so in other words, above the grades. You don't have to do it that way, but uh, it's nice to be consistent. So if you're going to use, say, these three items, go ahead and bring them up. If not, just bring them back down. If you have any questions about seeing the items in the template, just let us know. Thanks.